Hey, sneaker friends, today we're gonna have a look at the very first basketball shoe review that I'm going to do. And very conveniently, the LeBron 16 HFR showed up yesterday and I can't wait to dive into it. Now, for those of you that think basketball is gonna be a lost cause on me, I played basketball from third grade until I was a senior in high school. Yes, of course, I'm not very tall, I was a point guard, but I've definitely thrown down some hoops in my day and I can play a mean game of horse. The LeBron 16 HFR came out a couple weeks ago, so early September 2018. HFR stands for Harlem's Fashion Row. It's the most prestigious platform for multicultural fashion designers, and there were four amazing women that worked with LeBron on this shoe. The four designers were Brandis Daniel, Kimberly Goldson, Felicia Noel, and Undra Celeste. Four amazing designers, and they have some awesome surprises in this shoe that I absolutely love. So this shoe was available on sneakers, Nike's app. I paid $250 for this pair, and I did order a women's seven and a half, and I do feel like it fits true to size. There's so many cool things going on in this shoe, I don't even know where to start. Let's start with the midsole and outsole. Because it is a Zoom airbag midsole, we'll start there. It has basically 13 millimeter high Zoom fabric airbags for your cushioning, and there's three bags. There's one in the forefoot, the midfoot, and the heel area. Now, because it's Zoom, it's kind of like a Vapor Max in that the rubber is on the bottom and it wraps up the side of the airbag. So literally, you have outsole, airbag, and kind of the top of the midsole. There's only support on the sidewall of the airbags is literally the film of the airbag, a little bit of the midsole on the top and a little bit of the outsole that wraps up the side. It's a very interesting construction. Now in the forefoot, you'll notice it's completely covered with rubber. Now I'm not sure exactly if there's any air under here in the forefoot or if it is just a foam midsole area. You'll notice this ran that goes around the top of the airbags of the midsole. It is foam. It's a hardness of about 50, uh, as I measured on Shore A on my durometer. The bottom of it is painted in gold. That is paint. Originally, I thought it might be a fabric overlay or like a foil inlay, but I do believe it is paint that goes around the entire bottom side of it. In the heel area, the leather actually gets wrapped down and it looks like it gets stitched down to the top of it. However, I do believe those are decorative stitches and I think it's probably just glued down. This heel counter in this shoe is nothing to joke around about. I absolutely love it. So you have basically a piece of leather, a big piece of leather with, I think it's RF molded, 3D molded lion's head on the back. Now I took the laces out of the other shoes so that you could see what it looked like without the laces. The laces actually cross and go into its mouth. It's a beautifully detailed lion's head. And it's also in the like attack, right? His mouth's open, it's like he's roaring. Um, so it's a very interesting, very representative of strength. The designers really wanted to show strength in this model and I think this heel molding does that in a big big way. Now the upper is made of Battle Knit 2.0 so on the LeBron 15 was the first version of Battle Knit so Battle Knit 1.0. Battle Knit 2.0 is a knit material that has stretch incorporated but a lot of strength. It's a really beautiful material. The upper is fully lined on the inside. You'll notice that it has a leather tongue on top of the upper and you'll also notice this lacing system. Now I took the shoe apart because it was kind of complex to see how the lacing system actually work. So how this lacing system works is the tongue is attached with a gusset. So you can see the gussets here at the back and elastic. So these laces you see in the forefoot are elastic. Then you have a lace that is attached to the heel counter in the back. And this is solidly attached. Like you cannot remove this. This lace goes through the lion's teeth, through the tongue loop, and then you lace it. Now this shoe is complicated to lace. They don't actually show it laced on the shoe or in any of the images. They just show the buckle. Uh, and when you receive the shoes, the laces are actually tucked into the inside. So I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna wear this with the laces. Part of me wants to just cut the lace out, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. Now the strap that goes through the top, another 
challenge definitely when you go to get in the shoe you kind of have to unhook this to get into it but this is literally what they're saying is a bracelet that you can wear later which i think is kind of a cool thing it has the lebron crown logo stamped into the gold now you do get another set of these in the box so you get a set of white ones also that come in a cute little gray pouch now i'm not sure i'll wear the shoe actually with this in it uh, I haven't figured out quite yet how I'm going to wear these, especially with the difference in the laces, uh, but we'll figure that out soon. Now, if we go on to the inside of the shoe, the sock liner is beautiful. It's a leather top cloth on your pretty traditional five millimeter open cell foam. Now on this sock liner top cloth, you have these words printed that the designers, I guess when they were having a conversation with LeBron about his mom, these words kept coming up when he described his mom. So strength, courage, dignity, loyalty. So they printed it on the sock liner and I believe it was Daniels who said they love the idea, and I'm paraphrasing at this point, they love the idea of standing, putting this under your foot and that's what you stand on top of, these words, strength, courage, dignity, and loyalty. I just love that. It was such a cool way to look at a piece of footwear. I just thought that was super cool. Like, yeah, totally. I wanna stand on strength, courage, dignity, and loyalty, right? Those are like foundational uh, characteristics. If we take a look at the strobel, it's 1.5 millimeter thick foam and it is glued down. So underfoot, you basically have the sock liner, five millimeters, the strobel, a mil and a half, and then you're on top of basically the foam uh, that goes on top of the airbags. Then you have the zoom airbags, which have the zoom fabric inside, and then you have the outsole. Big question is underfoot feel. It's a basketball shoe. It's built for LeBron. The whole idea is that this is a strong and powerful shoe for strong and powerful people. Um, and it's definitely underfoot. It feels a bit firm. It does feel like Zoom Air. If the lace that does come in the shoe is very thin um, and it actually is a little bit cheap feeling, but I'm guessing that's because it's only used in this heel detail. It's not actually used to run through the different shoe. Now, since this is a basketball shoe and this is LeBron 16, this is gonna be a performance basketball shoe. We can't not talk about weight, even though this is the women's version and totally detailed out to the nines. The right shoe weighed 503 grams and the left shoe weighed 501 grams for a total of 1,003 grams for the pair. Now, basketball shoes are much heavier than running shoes, so I did not expect these to be lightweight shoes, especially with all the awesome details that are going on all over the shoe. Well, that pretty much covers my review of the LeBron 16 HFR. I absolutely love that LeBron did a women's shoe, and that was the first of the LeBron 16 launch, and I love that he worked with such great women that are designers from Harlem Fashion Row, the HFR. I think this will be be the model of how to do a women's collaboration moving forward and I'm super excited to figure out how I'm gonna wear this let me know what you guys think in the comments what do you think of LeBron coming out with a women's version first right what do you think of them coming out with a women's version at all I know most of my subscribers are men so I'm really curious to hear your thoughts all those women out there too did you get them do you love them what do you think I can't wait to review more basketball shoes let me know what you guys think the top basketball shoes are in the comments and if you haven't subscribed yet think about subscribing Hope you have an awesome day. See ya.